what did you prepare for death? Soon, soon, someone will be carrying you. Look at you this morning. You got up. You washed yourself. You took for granted. You took a bath. You had a shower. You took that for granted. Soon, you won't be able to wash your own self. Somebody, some Muslim has to wash your body and carry your body. I ask you, how many people do you think will attend your janazah? It's an important question. Two people, five people, a hundred people. Because the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said that anyone who a hundred people attend their janazah praying for the intercession, asking for Allah's forgiveness, Allah will accept their intercession. How many people would attend your janazah, your funeral? Are you prepared for death? How to be prepared for death? Only one way. Live the best life you can live. Because think about it. Your mother, your father, your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, your friends. They, if they're good Muslims, will go to the grave with you. And then they will leave you there. And I don't care how much your mother and father loved you, or your children loved you, or your friends loved you, or your imam loved you. They will leave you down there in that grave, and they will walk away, and you will hear their footsteps as they walk away and you'll be in there by yourself are you prepared for that well the best way to be prepared for that for death is to live life the best way you can you young brothers and sisters let me say this if Allah spares your life and you're around for another 20 years there's 20 more years of good that you can be doing 20 more years of service to Allah the Almighty but brothers and sisters be happy to know alhamdulillah that you are servants of Allah and try to live every day from prayer to prayer